Hey there, good morning, or whatever time of day it is. Welcome to the Daily Brew Garage. You may find yourself at some point on the side of the road needing to change a tire. And at that point, you discover that the last guy that, uh, that changed your tires or put new tires on, rotated them, whatever, was some ham-fisted knuckle-dragger trying to save the world one lug nut at a time by cranking them down to the highest torque possible. And unless your hobbies include uh, flipping railroad ties at CrossFit events on the weekend, or you work in construction, or you carry around a cordless impact gun, you may not be able to get the lug nuts off. That's where uh, torque multipliers come in handy if they work. There are several out there on the market, and I've found this one, uh, Stark. It's a Stark torque multiplier, comes in a little kit. So it's advertised as a 15 to one torque converter or 15 to one torque multiplier. I don't think that means one pound of torque input equals 15 pounds of output um, because it does say that the uh, output torque is 255 foot-pounds. I'm assuming that means a maximum. I don't know. We'll dig into it. But what it does mean, I believe, is for every 15 turns of the crank, you get one output turn. So it's a 15 to 1 ratio of input to output. So whether or not that translates to actual torque, eh, I don't know. So today I'm going to try to answer three questions. One, does it work at all? Does it actually do anything? Two, does it actually multiply and give me the benefit of being able to, to use less energy to break lug nuts loose? And three, does it work well enough to actually carry this case around and mess with it when you have to break a lug nut loose. So I'll go ahead and break it out of the case. We'll see what comes in the box, kind of see how it works, and then we'll put it on a put it on a lug nut, see if we can get it to see if it see if it actually works. So that's pretty straightforward. Comes in this case, you've got the main the main unit and then cranking handle. And it does come with uh, a 19 millimeter, a 17 millimeter and a 21 millimeter. Uh, it comes with zero instructions. So if you can't figure it out, then you're in trouble. Obviously this clicks into there. So what happens? This guy turns. Oh yeah. Okay, here we're gonna get this out of the way. <clears throat> so basically the way this works is this you put a uh, put a socket on there, this goes on the lug nut you're trying to loosen, and then this other arm, this just loosely fits over one of the other lug nuts to hold it in place. And then as we turn this handle, I don't know if you can see that, we'll, we'll redo this. As I turn this handle, then slowly this guy turns. So the first thing we want to do is, the first thing I want to know is, is it actually 15 to one? So I think I've figured out a way to do this. I've got this, got this magnetic tool holder, which these are, useful for some things, usually not useful for tools. So I'm going to put this guy in. Maybe. Just temporarily bolt this guy down so I can... There. Now that'll more or less hold it in place while I do my test. I gotta find a marker. So now we got our reference mark. We'll turn this 15 times, see if that guy turns once. That's what it says, right? 15 to one. So one, two, three. So it actually takes 
16 turns to get back to reference. So that's, that's fine. So 16 to one. 16 turns of input, one turn of output. So we, now we know functionally it works. Let's see how it works on a tire. One thing to note, uh, the sockets that come with it, actually look, they're not impact, obviously they don't need to be. Um, but looking at the, the style of the socket, they actually fit, like this is a 19 millimeter, this Jeep wheel is 19 millimeter. It fits relatively snugly, but they do have the rounded corners. So that's good. It's not gonna, it, less chance of it rounding off the, the lug nut socket on. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. So you kind of need to adjust, adjust this to get the socket lined up so that it'll go on correctly. Then once you get that done, then you can put the handle in. It fits a little wobbly, so you're gonna kind of have to hold it, uh, obviously. Um, so it's a little janky, but let's just give it a crank and see, see if it works. So there's really no torque being applied to the lug nut yet until it gets this arm where it needs to be. Um, so there's the plastic center cap. Yeah, it is putting a little pressure on that. I don't want to break that plastic. So let's redo this. For this application, I'm going to need to take that center cap off so that I don't crack it because it's obviously putting a little pressure there. If you don't have plastic center caps, it's not a problem. But So let me get that off real quick. Our unit back up. Okay, so roughly a hundred pounds of torque is what these are on there with. So get this, get that seated. So once it seats, then I'm then I don't really have to hold it because it kind of locks itself into place. So this is this is a hundred pounds of torque. So this thing actually works. Uh, that was, I don't know, that might have been, that, that took no, no force at all. Uh, literally anyone I think could have taken that lug nut off. I'm gonna put it back on. I'll check these with a, actually let's do that. Let me put it back on. So it's gonna go in the other direction. It's gotta reseat itself. And we'll torque it back down. You do have to back it off just a little bit in order to get them off. Let's check the torque on these. All right, so those are torqued to 100 pounds. We'll take a different one off this time. We'll go with this one down here on the bottom. Yeah, so you kind of, that's the only thing, it's not really janky about it. You just, you have to, you do have to line up the lug nut and the socket to get it on there. There we go. Yeah. So then get it in place. So we're at 100 pounds. So we'll do... I'm not a super strong guy. So two fingers. Well, you can do one. That breaks that lug nut loose extremely easily. So I like it. What I don't like about it is that you can't really, when you're putting lug nuts on, you could, you could easily over torque the lug nuts because you, you don't really have a way of knowing how much pressure you're putting on them. Um, all right, so I think we've answered the question. What were our questions? One, does it work? Yep, it does. It works. Um, 
seems it seems fairly well built. I have no idea where this thing is made. I seriously don't think it's made in America. Made in China. That's fine. Um, it's um, seems fairly fairly durable. It's not like something you're going to be using every day, right? So if you're changing tires every day, this is not the tool you use. This is an emergency roadside uh, emergency roadside tool for somebody who just doesn't have the strength to get the lug nuts off, and and it really does work. I didn't really have a way to truly measure the torque that I was, the input torque and the output torque, but I, you, you saw that it didn't, that those were on with a hundred pounds of torque and it, and I was taking them off with two fingers. It really, you know, I would, I would guess that I was maybe applying 10, 15 pounds maybe of pressure to get it off. So I think you could pretty much, I think you could pretty much break any lug nut loose with them. As long as that lug nut's not thread, it's like cross stripped on there, something weird like that. It says it goes to a maximum of, uh, output torque is approximately 255 foot pounds. Um, I'm not really sure how they're doing the math on that, but <clears throat> it, any, any lug nut is gonna be on anywhere, like a regular passenger vehicle. Your lug nuts are gonna should be on anywhere from 95 to 150, 160 pounds, depending on um, some some of your bigger trucks will go a little heavier than that. But uh, anyway, it works. Okay, so there you go. You have it. This thing. Um, were we able to answer the three questions? First question was, does it work? Yep, it does. It does work. Um, does it? Second question, does it really work and do what they said it was going to do? Yeah, it does. Um, I wasn't able to accurately measure exactly how much input torque I was applying, but I do know that the output torque was 100 pounds, um, and, and I was able to break that loose with two fingers. So is it worth carrying this extra case around in your vehicle? It's not a big case. Um, I think it is. I mean, it's not going to fit in like if you have a, if you have a, like a hatchback kind of deal uh, and your spare tire, it's not going to fit in there with a the spare tire, so you're going to have to find a place to put it. Um, but it is certainly worth having. Uh, to keep yourself from getting stranded um, for too terribly long on the side of the road if you have, you know, if you want to change your own tire. I think this thing costs about 65 bucks. I'll put a link in a, a, an Amazon link. That's where I got it. It was Amazon, of course. Um, but I don't know if you may be able to find these locally. I doubt it. Um, my first concern, I will be honest, my first concern was the length of this, this shaft. Um, that I just didn't think that there was going to be enough, that this was not long enough for me to apply adequate, adequate torque to, to break the lug nut loose. Um, I wanted it to be a little longer. If it's too terribly much longer, then you're going to run the risk of hitting the ground. You're not going to have enough room. Um, after testing it, it's, this is fine. It actually works really good. So there we go. Three questions are answered. Does it work? Yep. Does it work well? Yep. Will I carry it? Yep. Probably. I don't need it in my truck. I'll probably put it in either my wife's car or my daughter's Jeep, or I may get another one, put one in each one so that just in case they need to change a tire, they'll be able to. Um, but I can recommend it. I, I bought this with my own money. This is not something that was given to me to do a review. Uh, so if it was junk, I was, it was going to go straight in the, in the trash. Um, but seems to work. I like it. Uh, so I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks to my subscribers. You guys helped me grow the channel and I hope you guys have a great day. See ya.